Copernicus outputs three files all to the C drive. The files start with the name Copernicus, so just to confirm that the files don't already exist in my C drive, I'm going to just dir it. So there's no files starting with Copernicus in there. To run this, we have an easy script called uh, standalone.bat, which will just install Copernicus, the kernel driver, uh, run it, dump the files, and then uninstall the driver and clean itself up. Normally this takes um, less than 30 seconds. This machine it runs particularly slow because the BIOS is large and that's the determining factor of how long it takes. So now when I run this you can see that it generated three files. The files are the .bin file which is the BIOS itself which we dumped from the flash chip. In addition we have a um, CSV file which contains all the configuration information that we read from the system that we can use afterwards in post-processing to determine if the BIOS and uh, and or SMRAM are writable and therefore vulnerable. In addition to the CSV file we have a more human readable file which contains a subset of that data in addition to some uh, debug information